Hello gorgeous people, welcome to my second tarot blog. I hope you've had a lovely week, I've had a great week actually, it's a lovely sunny day today in Hartlepool. Before I go any further, I'd just like to say how um, kind you've all been with your lovely comments. I really appreciated this regarding my first tarot blog. I've been overwhelmed by lovely messages and comments, so thank you so much. Right, now today what we're going to talk about is the most fascinating card in the tarot pack, the devil. Now, when people think about the devil, I'd just like to show you the devil. When people think about the devil, they think about witchcraft, they think about devil worship, and it's nothing to do with that really. It's a very, very complex card though. I think the most complex um, in, in the whole pack and the most interesting. Now the cards I'm using today are the iconic witch's tarot. These were the ones from Live and Let Die. You remember Solitaire, who was Jane Seymour, who read um, Roger Moore's cards. She picked uh, the lovers, but then... No, he picked the lovers, I should say. But then you realise that all the pack was uh, with the lovers. I should actually do that. Good seduction technique. But then again, you'd have to buy 78 packs of tarot cards, so I don't think I'll bother. Stick, the, stick to the track and test it. <laughs> anyway, so getting on with the devil. Let me just tell you about the devil. Right. The devil has many sides to him. It can mean addiction... Sex addiction, drug addiction, um, drink, gambling. It's the dark side of somebody's personality. It can also mean, it can also mean cheating or you're tem tempted to cheat as well. As I say, it's the dark side of somebody's personality. Now, over the years, I've had people ask me, is my boyfriend, is my husband, is my girlfriend cheating? Now, that's, that's quite a hard question to answer. Thing is, you see, the cards aren't written in stone. They're not a hundred percent accurate, but they're a good, they're a good guide of what's coming into your life. But obviously, I'm not right all the time. However, there's four cards, in my experience, and I've been doing the cards, like I said, a long, long time. There's four cards in my experience that usually indicate somebody is cheating. The devil. The moon. Can you see the moon? The moon is all about mm, lies, deception. If you think about the moon, you can't see what's behind the moon. Like the full moon, you can't see what's behind it. So the moon is mysterious. It can sometimes mean lies, deception. So you get the moon and the devil. That's, that's temptation and maybe shenanigans. Right. Now, the worst card in the pack. Absolutely horrendous. I don't like to see this card in anybody's reading. It's the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords is absolute heartbreak. Heartbreak with knobs on. It can sometimes mean a death. If the death card is near it, it can sometimes mean the death. It can mean the death of a relationship. Sometimes it can mean an invasive operation. But not, not a good outcome. It, it's horrendous. Now, the thing with these witches' cards, I do like them, but they don't really, unless you're not familiar with the cards, they don't indicate by the picture what they actually mean. So what I've done to demonstrate how bad the, the Three of Swords is, I've used the pack that um, I always use, the uh, Mythic Tarot, just to show you the picture on that Three of Swords it's not good. There's a fella getting stabbed through the heart in an acid bath. So that just says it all, doesn't it, really? Not a good card. So when you get the three of swords, the devil and the moon and this last card, once again, the seven of swords, in this pack, it doesn't depict what it means. So I've showed you in the mythic tarot, because they're very, very good. As you can see, there's a fella kind of scuttling down the back alley do you know what I mean? And he's the Seven of Swords is all about corruptness. It means kind of that somebody's holding something back from you. So it can mean somebody's not quite being truthful. So you get the devil, the moon, the three of swords, and the seven of swords. In my opinion, that is somebody that's probably cheating. Now, if you were the one that's cheating and you're a female, you'd probably get two kings or two knights. But we'll talk about that at a later date. If somebody's cheating on you, you'd probably get two queens. 
But as I say, we'll talk about that as a later date. You know I always sing a song, don't you? The devil, um, she's just a devil woman with even all her might. The moon, uh, you can hide your lion eyes. Three swords, oh, unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Seven of swords, hmm, shady. Hmm, I know, I know a dark secluded place, a place where no one knows your face, a glass of wine, a fast embrace, it's called Hernando's Hadaway Ole. <laughs> right, okay, let's do a card of the week. So there you go, let's do a card of the week, eh? I think we need a bit of ha Card of the week, let's see. <gasps> Gorgeous card. The star, can you see the star? Wonderful card. Right, the star is all about hope. It's all about keep the faith. When things have been rough and you get the star, it means things are gonna start being wonderful again. It's just oh, optimistic. It's it's almost like the universe is sprinkling a little bit of fairy dust on your life. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you're worried about your health and you get this card, so it means that good health. It's a good outcome. So everybody, if you're struggling at the moment with a health problem, everything's going to be fine. If you're worried about a relationship and you get the star, everything's going to be perfect. It's just a wonderful, optimistic card. Right. Okay. I would sing, catch a falling star and put it in your pocket, never let it fade away. Any chance to sing, you know, I do. So, right, there you go. I think we'll have another joke before we go. Before I go, I should say. I'm trying to think of jokes that are not rude. Okay. This fella walks past a pet shop and he sees in the window, talking dog for sale, 20 quid. So he walks in and he says to the guy, uh, I've heard you've got a talking dog, is that right? And the guy goes, yes. He said, he's over there, he's in Alsatian. So the guy goes over and he says, he says to the Alsatian, uh, is it right that you talk? And the Alsatian says, yes, I do. He said, oh, wow. He said, what have you done? He said, oh, I've done all sorts, mate. He said, uh, I was over in Iraq, you know, when the war was on. He said, doing a bit of, you know, sniffing out the bombs and things. He said, and I was over in the White House, doing a bit of a security and things he said and then um i've done a couple of disney films he said and i'm doing a pedigree chum advert next week you know dog food he said eh, that's fantastic i'm gonna take you home so he says to the guy behind the counter this dog i'm gonna take this dog he says okay he said 20 quid he said why is he so cheap he said because he's a bloody liar <laughs> Fantastic week, everybody. Love and laughter, love and laughter. Bye. Never let it fade away. <laughs> Catch a phone star and put it in your pocket. Save it for a rainy day.